Hi everyone! In this video, we'll see how to configure and use GIF WooCommerce added to cart pop-up. This plugin opens a pop-up window every time a new product is added to the cart so customers can see the product and the updated cart content. You can also increase the average order value by suggesting related products in the same pop-up window. Before we get into it, let me remind you that we list the links to the plugin, documentation, and live demo in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. And now, let's get to it. With Youth WooCommerce added to cart pop-up, you can show a pop-up to customers every time they add a product to the cart. This way improving user experience and boosting upsells. Let's see an example. I'm going to add this product to the cart and I get this pop-up. Product successfully added to your cart, the product, the name, the price, shipping, cart total. We have buttons here to view cart, go to the checkout page, or just continue shopping. You can click here or here to continue browsing the shop. And there are also products here that I may also like based on the product that I just added to the cart. You can show this pop-up window every time a user adds a product to the cart. Let's see the plugin settings. Let's go to the dashboard. Give added to cart pop-up. We'll find four tabs here. General options, customization, mini cart, and exclusion list. In the first tab, we're going to find the plugin general options. We'll be able to decide if we want to show the pop-up in all of the products except the ones in the exclusion list which we're going to see in a couple of minutes, or only in the products that are in the exclusion list. We can also decide if we want to show the pop-up on shop pages or not, if we want to show the pop-up on product detail pages or on mobile devices, and also if we want to show the full car content in the pop-up or only the product added. Next, we have the customization tab. Here we have a total of six subtabs. We have pop-up design, added notice, product stable, cart total, buttons, upsell, and cross-sell. In the first subtab, pop-up design, we're going to find options to set the pop-up size in pixels. The pop-up animation, we have fade in, slide in, 3D flip, and scale up. We can also decide the overlay color, the pop-up background color, the border radius, whether to show the close icon or not, and if this is enabled, we're going to be able to choose that icon's colors. Next, we have the Added Notice sub tab. Here we can edit the text to show when a product is added to the cart. The text set right now is product successfully added to your cart. We can select the text alignment, center or left, the text style, the notice colors, the notice icon, we can use the default icon. We can choose not to show an icon or we can upload a custom icon. We can also choose the color here and set the border radius. Then in the product stable sub tab, we can choose to show the product name and price or not. If we go back to the site, you can see we have the product name right here and the price. That's because this option is enabled. Then we have options to select the product's color, the price color to decide whether to show the variations information or not, to show the product image, which is shown in the pop-up we just saw, to select the image size in pixels if this option is enabled, and to choose the border color. So all these options would modify the product table we can see right here, okay? Before moving on, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's continue with the video. Then, in the cart total sub tab, we can decide if we want to show the shipping cost as well, the taxes, the colors for the shipping and taxes, and also decide if we want to show the cart total and the colors. Then, in the button sub tab, we can choose to show a view cart button, the view cart button label, and the colors. We can also decide if we want to show the checkup button, the label, and the colors, and the continue shopping button, the label, and the colors. And of course, the border radius here. These three buttons mentioned here are these ones, view cart, checkout, and continue shopping. Let's go back. And then in the upsell and cross-sell sub tab, 
we're going to find an option to show suggested products, the title of that section, the color, the products to suggest, which can be related products, cross-sell products, upsell products, or you can even choose specific products right here and enter them here. Then you can set the number of suggested products to show. We have three set here and how many columns to show for the suggested products. And you can also show an add to cart button. Now let's move on to the next tab, mini cart. The plugin includes a mini cart icon that lets you open the cart pop-up and show the cart content anytime. Let's see it. It is right here. This mini cart icon floats on the page, meaning that it will always be available in the same position on the screen, even if I scroll down or up, or if I move from one page to the other. This way users can view the cart content anytime with just one click. Let's go back to the dashboard. So here you can decide if you want to show that mini cart icon on the desktop browser, if you want to show it on mobile devices, if you want to hide it when it's empty, to show a counter so that users see the number of items they have in the cart, the mini cart icon to use. Here you can set the mini cart icon. You can use the default icon or upload a custom one here. You can choose the icon color here, the mini cart colors here, the border radius, and lastly, we have the mini cart position option. Here we can decide the position. This is the current position, but I can just drag it anywhere on the page to position it somewhere else. For example, let's position it here. I'm going to save options, back to this side, refresh, there. So now the mini card icon is here. It is that easy to change the position. Now let's go back. Let's position it back to the side, save options. And now let's go over to the exclusion list tab. Now. By default, the pop-up is automatically opened whenever a product is added to the cart. In case you want to restrict this to specific products or exclude some products, you can use this exclusion list. For example, let's exclude a product. I'm going to add an exclusion here. You can select products or categories to exclude. I'm going to select products and I'm going to enter the product here. There we go. You can add as many products as you want to here. I'm going to click here on add exclusion to the list there. So what I'm trying to do is to not show the pop up window when this product is added to the cart. Now, in order for this to work, you need to have the correct configuration. So in general options, you need to configure this option right here. Show pop up in since I have selected all products except the ones in the exclusion list. The products that I add to the exclusion list are the ones that are not going to open the pop-up window when those products are added to the cart. But if products in the exclusion list is selected, then only the products added here will open the pop-up window when they are added to the cart, not the rest of the products. So now that I have added that dress to this exclusion list, let's add it to the cart back to the side. I'm going to refresh. There we go. The mini card icon is back where I put it. And so this is the product I just added to the exclusion list. If I add it to cart, I do not get the pop up window. Now, if I add this one instead, I get the pop up window. And that's it. That's how easy it is to configure the plugin. Okay, so that's how our plugin works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.